We just, you know, if, if the, the car door opened, the taxi door opened, he just like completely fell out. And then I saw him years later uh, as a coach of the Philadelphia Flyers and completely 180 degrees. And you have to a tip of the cat to guys like that and Bobby Orr, my goodness. I mean, Sanderson did it too, right? He was sleeping on park benches in, in New York City. Well, I, I'll never forget, I got a call from somebody that told me, go on the 79th Street entrance off of Central Park West, and yeah. I was living on 70, uh, 76th Street, and um, I walked up there and went into the park, and there he was on a bench, and he had a newspaper on his chest, and um, his face was cut up pretty bad. Somebody beat him up, and it, when he saw me, he actually looked at me and said, Phil, some guy stole my booze. That's what he said. Not his wallet. I took, I took him into the, took him to my place, and he stayed with us for about two weeks. And I called Bobby, um, and I said, Robert, I said, and we met in Hartford. And Bobby and uh, he drove to Hartford. I drove to uh, Hartford with Derek, and Bobby got him. And after that, uh, Derek was fine for the rest. I think for the rest of his life, he's been fine. Mm -hmm. And you got to give Orr a lot of credit, boy. Yeah, yeah. I think he financed him as well, Phil, as well as uh, oh, yeah. nursing him. But I remember Jake Milford, when Derek went to Vancouver, he used to call me Muddy. He said, Muddy? Muddy Waters, that's funny. He said, I just saw <laughs> first body I've ever seen on a 32-year-old hockey player. <laughs> the worst. But De Derek Sanderson. And it wasn't like he was fat. Yeah. He didn't have any muscle, eh, Phil? No, none. I really didn't. Like a bones and looked like a piece of shit. <laughs> well, he, he really was a, was a character. I, I tell you, man, I there's some stories you can't say on the air because no, even though it's uncensored and all that, you know, it, there's just things you just don't want to say. Yeah. But uh, I remember Andre survived when he got drafted the first pick overall. Or maybe it wasn't overall, but it was the Bruins' first pick. Yeah. The first pick. It was fairly high. I think about 12. Yeah. Uh, and I was, uh, uh, that's why I had the cast on my leg, it was, so it was 73, and um, I got a call, I got a call from, from uh, Milt Schmidt, uh, or asking me to take this guy and uh, show him around and meet some of the guys, and it was the summertime, and I, and we got a limo and all that stuff, and I took Andre, and we went to visit Derek. <laughs> And he was living by that Charles, uh, not Charles River, down by Faneuil Hall and all that, where that is now, you know, the, all those buildings down there now. And anyway, we walk in and go up to his apartment, and, <laughs> and he opens the door, he's stark naked, okay? <laughs> and he says, come on in, how are you, kid? He says, let's have a drink, you're on a drink, kid. And out of the bedroom comes this gorgeous, gorgeous woman, Absolutely naked. And Andre Savard looked at and Derek said, Welcome to the big time, kid. <laughs> <laughs>